This is your standard tractor transaxle. This one's made by Peerless, which is a division of Tecumseh. But uh, it's pretty much the same as the Spicer, which is the same as the foot. This one's a five speed, but the six speed really isn't any different, just got one more gear. We're gonna pop this sucker open, see what's wrong with it. What is it like? No, no gears work in this, right? Uh, no, this one will move, but it does the jumping. Yeah, this thing just bucks, it, it sort of moves, but it does that in every, every gear, right? Yeah. So we're gonna see what's, uh, see what's messed up inside this thing. Well, start by getting the snap ring off so we can pull off the pulley. It's your handy dandy snap ring remover tool. Oh, look how easy that was. Oh, so the two dentist picks. Yeah, and like just screaming and cursing. This is probably, this looks pretty well rusted on. And uh, it's not coming off. Well. You want to hold the transmission down or something? That is actually. Buggies. Great. That's gross. I think something's been living under there. Yeah. <laughs> it so. Yep. So many, so many gears suffers. Okay, so this would be reverse. Neutral. One. Two, three, four, five. Ah, it was a five speed. Only yeah, seven clicks total. Okay, so. Five. Yep. Okay. Alright, now we go back. Take all these little bolts. Little rusted little bolts. Don't forget that one. Way down in there. Okay, so there's a nut on the other side. Seven sixteenths. Ah. Uh. All right, and that's all the bolts. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow, 16 plus this one. This one goes in that big hole, and the nut goes on the bottom. Although I've worked on ones where this is just a regular screw and there's no nut. So, who knows? Make sure you get all the screws out. So otherwise, you'll be wondering what the hell's going on. Alright, let's uh, pop this sucker open. It should, it should, it should open fairly easily because we have all the bolts off. Can hold it still. There we go. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. Let's lift this sucker off. Here's the inside of this thing. It's important that you don't lose this thing and the little ball that's under it. There's an access hole. I'm gonna take it out of here just so we don't don't lose the damn thing. There's an access hole through the top of here. Right through there. It's actually an Allen bolt. And when you put this thing back together, you take that, you leave these two things out. You put the lid back on, and you take out that Allen bolt, and you just drop the ball in, and then you drop the spring in, then you put the Allen bolt back on, and you're all set. Now, looking inside this uh, transmission, you're noticing that the teeth on this gear here are pretty worn looking. And over here, they look better. Which would explain why it was bucking, because because it would sort of move and then just jerk. It would yeah. move. I mean, it, it it would move, but and it's all worn here. Usually, you find them like totally snapped. I don't know. On the other one, we had these were all rounded off, completely missed. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that means. And if you look on this here, this also looks sort of rounded. Taking off the brake caliper is easy. There's two bolts on the either side. Pull them off. I already had this one started with a wrench. There you go. Now the brake disc should just pull right off. Nice and easy. and then pull off the inside brake shoe. Just pull it right out. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We had some spare parts that we got from another transmission, a six-speed transmission. And like I said, these things are so close, it really doesn't even matter. Now this five-speed transmission, the problem that it has is that the teeth are all worn down. Ooh, that one's chipped right there. Right, right here, the teeth are all worn down. I'm not really sure how it happened, but didn't happen during the time we owned it. And the teeth on this gear are also real worn down. So what we've elected to do is we have this, this gear assembly pulled, as you see it, right out of a six-speed transmission. So we're pretty much just going to take this piece out of this transmission, drop this piece in, put this new piece in the top of the transmission, attach it to the pulley, and uh, bam, there you go. Instant, now six speed transmission. There's the old five speed one. Alright, we're ready to drop this uh, new gear. Which one is which? That's the old one. This is the old one, okay. This, this is the new one. Upgrade. Upgrade. Turn this thing into a six speed. Look at that. Just drop it in. That's it. Now we take the uh, shift selector, or the gear selector. I'm just gotta line that pin up in that shaft. Yep, line, yep, this one. That shaft there. Yep. Okay. Oh, sweet. Let's see. Let's see, this would be reverse. Okay, so yeah. Neutral. First. Second. Third. Fourth, fifth. <laughs> sixth. 